Hello people, Brian with New Leaf Paddle and Surf. Um, I'm just going to go over all the modifications that there is needed for a surf first or off, planer. First and foremost is the on the fly adjustment. Most planers have probably a good five turns to open the shoe all the way up. On a modified planer, it takes about a little over one quarter turn to open it up fully. And that's called the on the fly adjustment and what that's for is feathering from usually the tail to the nose. It's all usually a little bit deeper cut if you're doing rail bands and, and, and whatnot or if you're also doing like concaves, like a nose concave, feathering it from zero to full cut to open cut for like a nose concave. Alright? Next, to make it ergonomical and just a better fit, a better feel for when you're when you're planing, you have a handle relocation. Usually, they're on the top, and it just feels kind of strange, you know, trying to do rail bands with it on the top. So, next is the handle relocation, okay? Also, you take off the old cord, and I got mine laying on the floor here. You add a 25-foot cord, all right? You want to lengthen the cord so you don't have to worry about having a extension cord or also some people like to use a, a vacuum system that comes from the ceiling and this will ride right up the vacuum all the way down to the outlet that you got your vacuum plate in, or plugged into also. Okay? Um, next, you have the shoe um, is also modified also. You got rounded corners on it and then also this groove is usually filled in with a five minute epoxy or whatever and again what that's for is when you're running over a piece of foam it's not catching or it's not leaving gouges or marks with, from a sharp edge so it just works out a lot better for you also on that. Next is the exhaust. Um, a lot of people like if you're a newbie you can get away with this exhaust and um, I'm modifying a planer right over here. This is what it usually will look like. Hopefully this is in focus here. That's what it will usually look like. If you don't plan on ever hooking it up to a vacuum system, you really don't need this, but one thing that I do like about this, I don't like being tethered to a um, vacuum system, but what an advantage of having this pointed down is it actually will blow the foam away from your cutter head. So when you're coming through, it'll actually blow a path, clean path for you. So that's why I like that. And then um, one thing that you can't see is the bearings that are in the machine are upgraded. Um, all of these Hitachi planers come from China and they come with really crappy bearings. If your bearings say China on them, please swap them out for a higher grade um, a higher grade bearing because they will burn up and what will happen is again, I'm going to bring this one that I already got taken apart and I'm doing the mods on. You can see these holes. What happens is they'll burn up and they will ruin this housing and then the entire planer is compromised and junk. So you've got to get away from that, okay? And then, lastly on these planers, and sometimes you can do away with this, I love it, but on the back side of here is the belt and the housing I've ground down a little bit, and what that is is the stock housing and, and um, the stock belt cover and housing, what would happen is when you got this at a full cut, when this is fully open, there used to be a lip there and it would have the planer kind of cockeyed when you're working with it. And then also when you're pulling it back, it would, it would just be inconsistent. So that's what that is for, okay? Actually, here's a stock cover. I don't know if you can see that but that's actually got obviously the meat to it yet. And then also, here's the bottom side, side of a stock 
housing, you can see obviously the cutter head, there's a cylinder there that holds a bearing, but you don't see that here. That's what it should look like stock, and that's the after. And that is about it. Um, one thing I should mention is, if you guys are doing a lot of EPS foam and, and stuff like that, you might want to get away from not doing this to your planer because EPS foam does get up in there on this into the um, into the spindles and stuff in here and it does make that jump off and you go through belts relatively fast um, that's the advantage of also being tethered to a vacuum system it sucks most of that out and then you don't have to worry about that um, otherwise a lot of the newer planers come with a black steel belted um, belt in here and I try to get away from that if you can upgrade it to the more of this um, uh, I don't know what color that is it's a tan color it looks kind of like the a bubblegum sole on the old K-Swiss that's the color that you want so if that burns up it doesn't throw how do I explain it if you got a black one in there and it starts burning up steel belts actually come out and it rips the hell out of your phone this will not do that. Okay, so that's it. For you beginners, that is what a modified planer entails. All right, now as you know, if you keep track with me or if you subscribe to me, I'm doing a bunch of the videos on all of these for the do it yourself for all the modifications. So if you want to, definitely check them out. Otherwise, we are going to offer a service where we will do an entire planer for you. You just send it to us, we'll do all the modifications for you, or we'll do one modification for you, whatever you want. If you just want the shoe adjustment, the on-the-fly shoe adjustment, we can do that. If you just want the, the exhaust, we can do that also. All right? Or if you just want the handle relocation, whatever it might be, we can do it for you. All right? Again, this is Brian with New Leaf Paddle and Surf. And thank you for watching.